I'm Tina here for Paper Tray Ink. I hope your day is going fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining me. I have a fun project to share with you. We're using the Flutters and Flowers stamp set. There's a coordinating die set that will cut out the butterflies and the blooms in here. For my greeting, I'm using the Thoughts of Spring Sentiments. And then for my background, we're going to use two die sets. We have February Reflections, and then we also have the Extravagant Floral Frames. I'm going to put everything to the side and we're going to start by doing some stamping using our Flutters and Flowers stamp set. I went ahead and die cut out the images that we're going to be using and then I'm going to use the negative piece for lining them up inside my stamping positioner. Since the stems or the grass blades are on the thinner side for me, this is just easier to do. So I'm going to start by taking the grass blades and then I'm just going to line them up on the inside here of the negative piece. I went ahead and put in my positive pieces. I'm going to use Simply Chartreuse for my grass. I'm going to go ahead and ink these up and we'll stamp these. and our blades of grass are good to go. I'm going to remove these. I went ahead and did one more of these. We'll put this aside. I thought we would stamp our butterfly next. I'm using my True Black ink for my butterfly. There is two detail layers, but I'm only going to use one detail layer for my butterfly. So taking the most solid butterfly, we're going to stamp this. I'm going to be using my berry sorbet for a little color. Okay, our butterfly is all done. I'm going to go ahead and work on our flowers next. In our, in our stamp set, I'm going to use this one and this one. I'm using my True Black ink to stamp the outline of my florals. We'll go ahead and stamp these. For my second layer for my florals, I'm using Soft Stone ink. Soft Stone's a very pale gray, so I'm going to stamp this a couple times. That way our flowers are still white, but we just have that slight shadow with the soft stone. Okay, I'm going to remove these and we're going to work on our flower centers. For our flower centers, we have two layers also, but I'm only going to use the detail layer. I'm using my Harvest Gold ink for these flower centers. I'll stamp these a couple of times. And all of our stamping is good to go. I am going to take these flower centers and add some small foam squares to them. We'll go ahead and add these. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on our background. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to, I'm also going to put a small foam squirt behind my butterfly hair. We're going to go ahead and stamp our greeting from the Thoughts of Spring Sentiments. I'm going to use the greeting that says, Spring is the perfect reminder of how beautiful life truly is. I think that is so pretty. I went ahead and put it on an acrylic block, and I'm just going to use my True Black ink for this. Go ahead and stamp that, and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer, and I'm going to trim this out. We have our greeting. I'm going to put this over to the side, and our greeting is good to go. Now we're going to do a little bit more die cutting, this time with white cardstock. I have a cardstock panel. We're going to create a frame using the February Reflections die set. I'm going to create a frame, and then I'm also going to take 
the negative piece and I'm going to die cut this out also. Okay? While we're die cutting, I'm going to use the extravagant floral frames. I'm going to use the largest one and I'm going to die cut this out with white cardstock. I'm going to go I'm going to start by taking a piece of summer sunrise cardstock and I'm going to adhere this to the front of my card base. Next, I'm going to take my extravagant floral frame. I'm just going to add adhesive behind the back, and I'm going to tack this down. This is, fits perfectly on an A2 panel. Okay, and then for the inside piece of my frame, I'm using two inks. I have Hawaiian Shores, and I have Simply Chartreuse. I'm going to pick up a little bit of ink, and just using my bending, blending brush, I'm going to add a little bit of color to the very top, kind of fade towards the middle. And then using my Simply Chartreuse, I'm going to pick up some ink here. And I'm going to add some ink at the very bottom, kind of fade up. So we kind of have a white line in between. Okay. I'm going to line up my frame. On its background, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to add some adhesive and I'm going to inlay this. I'm going to pick this up and then we're going to add our flowers and flutters. I'm going to go ahead and take some adhesive, add it to the bottom of my grass, and we're going to do a little tucking with it starting in the middle. We'll go ahead and add this piece. Now we have some taller blades of grass. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive here at the bottom. And we'll do a little tucking here. Okay, once we have our grass, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put some foam tape around here. Now that we have foam tape behind our frame, I'm going to go ahead and add it to my background. Just lining it up. I'm also going to add my greeting. And then I put foam tape behind my flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and add these. And then um, lastly, we're going to add a little flutter. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to put some adhesive behind here. And I'm going to tack this down on the front of my card. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. to my butterfly wings using some unicorn stickles. And then I'm also going to bring in my Paper Tray Ink Rainbow Gems. I'm going to add a few on my background here. And, and also in my flower centers. And that will finish off my card today for Paper Tray Ink. A nice springy card. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.